foot and rear, seven month old English Cocker male, second grooming in his life. So there we go. So we pick up the back foot, whatever's hanging over at the back of the pad, cut that off. And go around. Try not to go across the top of the foot, just the back. Yeah, Murphy, stop. Always secure their foot with your hand just above the hawk because they will walk. Make sure this is straight up and down to the table. Go around the base of the foot. And as they get older, you want to cut a line in, and you want to make it a straight line going down the stifle. He barely has enough coat to put a line on. You want to go right to the top of the foot. So there is a separation between the top of the foot and the hair on the leg. And you can just keep beveling back as far as you want to make the foot, again, look round, thick, and tight. Then on the hawks, we want it to look like a collar. So without me getting behind the dog, it'll be a little bit difficult, but you go down side. And you don't want to go too tight. You want them to have a little bit of thickness back there. Then up here on the rear, we're gonna take this straight across. There's a cowlick there. So the top part of the cowlick, you take off. The tail, it's easier if you shave underneath it with a tan, but he's kind of tail sensitive, so we're not going to do that. You cut off all this on the side. Cut all that off on that side. That doesn't hurt you. Thank you. Right in there.
this is a show puppy, I'd be training this to go inside. Um, but I'm not going to cut that off for a pet. I'm just going to leave that on and let it grow and hang down. <laughs> Murphy, stop. So he took off all his pajamas. This portion of the body here, this was all taken off with stripping it down. And that's how we do a puppy. <laughs>